One thing that I find ironic is that a skeptic resorts to saying that there is no design in nature. Yet, we directly copy nature's design ourselves all the time. As a matter of fact, there are entire fields of science which deal directly with the subject. Biomechanics and biomimicry are two such fields. It's where we get the word bio-inspiration from, where we mimic God's design of creation to create our own things. Even cockroaches are an amazing design, and we are using them in robotics, and even in medicine. Let alone the fact that we literally see design in nature all around us via the golden ratio. This unique ratio is seen in everything from nature's smallest building blocks like atoms to the largest and most advanced patterns in the universe, such as celestial bodies. Mathematicians, scientists, and naturalists alike have all known about the golden ratio for centuries. It's derived from the Fibonacci sequence, also known by many other names today, like the golden mean, sacred geometry, the divine proportion, and many others. Don't believe it? Well, take honeybees for example. If you divide the female bee by the male bees in any given hive, you will always get the golden ratio. When you look at sunflowers, their seeds follow the golden ratio pattern that is easily detectable with the human eye. This unavoidable ratio can be seen throughout all of nature, no matter where you look. Are you still having trouble believing it yourself? Need something that's easily measured? No problem. Try measuring your own shoulder to your fingertips and then divide the number by the length from your elbow to your fingertips. Or try measuring your head to your feet and then divide that length by the number from your belly button to your feet. Notice something? The results are always the same. Somewhere in the area of 1.618. The golden ratio is unavoidable and is proof of creation. We literally have designs slapping us in the face everywhere we look so that we are without excuse.